this screw nut is loose. And there we go. So, <laughs> look at that. You see that? I'll then look it up for the video. The grease I put in, I always put a lot of grease in, is still there. And what do we see? We do see that there is no oil on this side. Because the grease is still there. A little bit is here. And so it means just some fog is coming to the back where the push rod sits. Here it is washed. So there is actually oil spray. Less on this side. Yeah. And. Yeah, it gets here, but it doesn't get here. So, the idea of the big M, what was the name? Forgot. Ultra Loop bores from this side. That is no oil. Let's go on here. Yeah, the big M's, the BGM super strong, but different clutch linings and different plates, and as well a different sprocket, a deer T sprocket. As the BGM do have thin teeth. Push rod, still fine. But you also see here, there's still grease. So it was not washed away, so there is no oil on this side with the 200 clutch, as it is way bigger. There was oil when there was the smaller 125, but not this one. What I want to show you is my assumption why there is no oil anymore under the clutch lid. This was just meant to be a 125 engine case here. That's why the 200cc case still has the 125 ports. It just got bigger. And with that, also the clutch got bigger. Because the PX old clutch and the old one out of the 60s, it was small. And what you can see here is that there was space between the clutch basket, outer diameter, and the engine case so if you have a look at the beams we know this one this is a 125 because this beam here is bigger this wall this small wall and they are um, they belong to each other so if you put the clutch lid on you kind of have a wall here up till this rounding to guide the oil towards the push rod and as we know as the clutches did get bigger this idea of bringing oil here on the push rod and the pressure plate just disappeared because the clutch got bigger I'm gonna get a big clutch now that's the PX old 6 spring that's the PX old 7 spring from 200 and I mean LML 125 also have the bigger clutch is in and you see here that diameter got bigger and uh, this beam had to be shortened because of the taps that were coming out here and also in the clutch cover the beam got smaller and when we now use tuning clutches which are CNC machined or they do have a ring there even bigger that means we have to completely remove this structure here and the initial idea from the 125 engine to guide some oil to the pressure plate and to push it it does not work anymore because clutches got bigger wait that's my advanced guess that was for bringing the oil back as the diameter got bigger doesn't work anymore cheers guys see ya Super strong version 2 ultra loop they say. Why do they say that? There are a few 10 new drills from the clutch lid side under the springs to loop this contact area with the base with the clutch basket area. The problem is from this side from clutch lid there is only few oil or no oil because if you 
mountain with grease on it, you will find the grease 5,000 kilometer later or 10,000 kilometer later, you will still find the grease in the clutch lid. Um, if there is enough oil that these are fed, these drills, then the grease would be washed away. So it is a good idea, I have to give them that. But the better idea would be, and if you see the other picture afterwards in this guide, that there are damages after 28,000 kilometers um, from the Aussies in the Aussie Vespa. If you want to grease this, so the oil, as we saw, and as I explained, is coming here in this direction. Here's the oil coming. So if you want to grease this area here, you should make drills here. You should make a bore from here where the oil comes <laughs> till here. Not these, because it will be kicked out the oil if there gets oil there. But it's more likely that it comes that there is oil getting into the ground plate, under the ground plate, from the direction where the oil actually comes, and not from the other side where there is no oil. So if any, then you could drill here. Here, to get oil in here. Because this slides in and out quite often. And that's correct. There is oil needing. So, good idea, wrong side. So perhaps version three? We'll see. <laughs>
and it comes out. Don't do that too hard with too much force because clutch may open. There we go. So, make sure that the woodroof key does not fall into the engine. I mean, if it happens, it's not a broken leg because you can take the magnet holder, second, show you how this looks. And I found the tool in my mess. My workshop is a mess. That is on a flexible arm. So if the woodruff key falls into the engine, um, you usually are able to fish it out. Just with the, you just put it in the gearbox from here, and you fish a little bit. And at a certain point, it will jump onto the magnet. I am gonna, for secure reasons, remove this one, you saw. Because with the Quadrini crank, it's a little bit loose. I don't like that, but it is how it is. Also check the used marks. It's still okay. And as you can see here, I used the good old uh, washer underneath the clutch. The thicker one without the sprocket for the oil pump. So, no tooth here. Sorry, no teeth here for this oil pump sprocket. This is stronger than the other one, and because the other one usually, or usually you can say usually, sometimes like to break and crack. It's hardened, and that's not what we need hardened metal parts in the engine case in the gearbox